What is up guys? It's Jay here, J Media One, and today we're back with another product to review. Today we got the Five Find Anthony Rocket. This thing is a cool mic, and we've done other reviews from Fine Find. We'll leave a link for you guys to check those out. But we're gonna check out this one because this is an actual condenser mic and we are digging it. So we're gonna get into this right now, guys. Let's go. Okay, we're back and we got the Five Find Ampli Rocket. This is a podcasting microphone. And what's so cool about this? Well, it's got variable RGB lighting. It's got sensitive quick tap mute. And it's got the cardio dynamic mic. We're just going to give it a look. We're going to get right into the unboxing. We're just going to pop the lid back like this. We can see inside of here, we come with, it comes with a user guide right off of the bat. So that's pretty cool. Gives us pretty much all the instructions that we need to set it up. We have one, two, three, four different boxes here. We're going to check the small boxes first and see what we got inside of there. I'm sure there's going to be some hardware and some things like that because this thing gets mounted on the, the desk, right? So it gets clamped on your desk and then it swings over with a boom arm. This thing's really good. I know a lot of people, you know, stray from these mics, but these mics are still really good for two major things, podcasting and doing instructional videos. I'm going to be doing some tutorial videos on Mac because a lot of people want to know about it. Apple Silicon's taking over again. And, uh, well, Apple Silicon's taking over, period. And we're going to get into that so you guys can learn how to use a Mac. But uh, right now we notice right out of the box here, this is super nice looking. It's got these clear, like, filter brackets right here. And those are going to let the RGB shine through. So that's a really nice feature. We also got a USB Type-C slot on here. And this is adjustable, so we can just turn this knob and we can fully adjust this in either direction. You notice at the end, it's got the typical screw knob for the boom uh, stands. We do have some long boom stands, but this one actually comes with one. Um, typically, they're not of the best quality, but we're going to see how this one looks. So we notice that right off the bat, you got your uh, anti-vibration uh, bands on here as well. So that keeps the mic from you know shaking too much or wobbling back and forth. And I notice inside of here, if you guys can hear that, there's some kind of ring inside of here that allows it to swivel or rotate. And it does say on this side, this side up, please place the mic through this side. So it gives you that heads up. And you can see inside of here that there is some kind of screw, like it's got threads inside of it. And this rotates inside of here as well. So we're going to check that out and see how that all operates. But so far, so good. This is really sturdy and heavy. So we're going to get into the next box. And we see inside of here a bunch of foam. It's got this cover. We're going to pop that off. And there's the mic. So the mic is really well padded during shipping. And we like good shipping. Underneath here, we can see that there's a USB-C and there's the threads. Those are the male side threads that are going to go into the female side threads on this one. We're going to keep unboxing. We do not want to lose that off the table, so we're going to put it back in there. This little box here has some additional hardware, and this is going to be our clamp. So this is what you use to clamp it to your desk. I'm sure a lot of you have already used one of these before. This kind of just winds out like that. You find the right clamping mechanism. And then you also got this knob here for when the boom goes down inside of there. So this is going to mount to the desk directly. So that's good. And we got another box here. This is going to be the majority of our cords. So it comes with a USB-C and it says four shock mount on here. This is on the back side. It says it's only for charging. So we have one specifically just for that. And it goes to USB-A. And then we have another cord on here. And this one says for data transfer. And this one's USB-C to USB-A as well. And this one says that it's for the microphone. Very strange that the very similar type of cord would have two different objectives. But uh, there's obviously a reason behind that. A lot of times you can pin these cords so that only uh, a couple of these pins inside of here are active. And that would only allow it to charge. So that would make sense if they're doing it that way. We're going to get rid of this box here. We're going to get into the big boy. This is going to be our boom. For sure. So there it is. And uh, these things, like I said, a lot of times I have experience with these where they're just like super cheap metal. And this one's not too heavy. 
I'll be quite honest with you. But uh, the entire purpose of it is just to support your mic. This side goes in the actual mount that clamps to your desk. And then this side here goes on the mic. And there's an adapter on here so that it will fit the, uh, fit the bottom of the mic uh, stand. Cleaned off the desk. We got all the boxes out of the way. And we got the mic here. So it does say that this side up. And it says that the mic has to go specifically that direction. So we're going to screw it in the way that they want us to. And you can see on the little label here that we have that incorrectly because you don't see any of those tongs up top. So it's just like that. That's going to stand by itself for now. This is going to mount to the edge of our desk. So we'll just mount this to the edge for now so you guys can see. This hole up on top is where this is going to go. This part is going to just slide down inside of there. Nothing too fancy. And then you have your knob so you can tighten it down. This kind of swings out in front of you. There is an adjustable knob on the side here. So we can turn that. Kind of position it where we like it to be. These springs are just for stability. We do have a knob here as well. So once we get this to where we want it, we're just going to tighten down all these knobs. We're going to tighten this knob so that it won't move on us. That's a big deal. Obviously, we don't want the mic just moving all around. This one's going to fit on top of here just like that. We're just going to turn this one down in. I don't really like that they adapted it that, like, that much. Like, I don't really see the point in that, um, other than the fact that you could use different mics with different adapters on it with it being like that. But if your plan is to just use this, then what's the real point in doing that, right? So we're just going to kind of face it like this. It doesn't really matter at this point because we're not going to use it in this position. But uh, you can see you got to kind of crank down here so it stays. The mic's not super light, but it's not super heavy either. Uh, if you look, you can see how those shocks work inside of there. If I try to wiggle it back and forth, you can really see how those operate. And you definitely want this to be screwed down tight because it can really mess with your uh, your general operation when you're going to tighten everything down if that screw is not in there all the way. And it wasn't bottomed out before. And that's where we kind of ran into an issue right there. So you want that to be tight. It's pretty tight right now. We do have these two cables. One of them says only specifically for charging. So we need to make sure that that one goes to the, uh, to the mic's charging port. And you can see here, it says type C 5 volt. And then here is the actual mic. We got this thing upside down right now, just for demonstration purposes. So you guys can see what we're doing. I do like that they put these little Velcro straps around here. That's pretty nice. Just kind of keeps your uh, cord management um, done well. I don't like that they're not USB-C to USB-C. I totally prefer that. So the charging port's gonna go right here. Like so. And then the port for the microphone itself is going to go into the other one. So we're gonna plug that right into the mic. Pretty simple. Um, you can bring these Velcro bands down if you like and kind of Velcro them to the actual stand itself. So they're out of the way. We're going to flip it back over. So we're going to rotate it back around. Loosen this up. And there you go. So one thing to note here, this is a shock mount. And there's a button on here so you can turn this on. And it turns on the LEDs as well. But this is a, a shock mount specifically. So that's why it has to have this charging cable. And the other cable is just for the microphone itself. Another thing to note that we got just from the instructions here is that this is a unidirectional mic, which means that the end addressing on the mic has to be through the top of the mic itself. You can't talk to it from the side. You don't want to. You want this mic to be facing like this to where you're talking down into it. So that's a, that's a pretty important thing to note. It also has a mute button on here. If you look right there, there's a mute button that you just tap and that will mute the mic. Okay, guys, so the cool thing is, is that I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to do it on a Windows PC, and I'm going to also do it on a Mac, because I know I get users of both on here, so I wanted you guys to be able to see both. So we have it plugged in. <clears throat> right at the bat, you can see that it does recognize the Fifine microphone immediately. I didn't have to do anything for that. Uh, this is my mic at volume settings inside of system sound settings. 
So you're going to want to check that. You're going to want to go to system sound settings and make sure that this microphone displays. You can click on that. It shows the microphone itself. You can go ahead and rename it if you like. This is where you're going to set your volume control for the mic. And if you look at me talking on the side of it, you notice that if I talk on top of it, the volume bar spikes. And that's because this mic is very specific in stating that it does require you to talk on top of the mic. It will not work so much if you talk on the side. You can see the bar is barely wiggling there when I talk on the side. So you definitely want it to talk on the top like this. So we were loading up OBS, but it needs an update. So I'm just going to show you here. You can do a start test on your microphone. So you can just start talking inside of here, and it's going to make sure that your microphone is working correctly. And then you do a stop test, and it's going to stop right there. This says result 100% of total volume. So the mic is operational and it is working correctly. Even we've given up on OBS because I either have an outdated version of OBS on this computer or I have a driver issue. The thing is, is that I don't use a Windows PC to do any of my recording. I completely Mac. I'm the Mac guy. So um, while I know Windows well, they have driver issues. There's just a crap that Windows has that I don't want to deal with. So we're going to go into Audacity and we see that our microphone is on five fine here. Um, playback device we're just going to use the speakers out of the system and so we're good there so we're going to hit the record button and, and you can see that we are recording at this point in time we're not going to record too long we're just going to record long enough for you guys to hear the quality of this mic so let me make sure the volume is up so that you guys can hear the output and we're going to crank it a little bit and we're going to hit play we're going to hit the record button <laughs> and you can see that we are recording at this point in time we're not going to record too long. We're just going to record long enough for you guys to hear the quality of this mic. Wow. I'm very impressed. I mean, this mic sounds really good. Holy crap. I mean, that's good quality. And you got your RGB down here, which is cool. You got this little button. Click it on the top. We could change the colors. Fancy in the pantsy. So we got different colors here. We can go all the way through if you like. Now we're going to test the uh, mute button. So we're going to do this again. We're going to start recording. So we're starting a new recording here where you can hear us very well. And we're going to hit the mute button right now. So now it's muted and now it's unmuted and now it's unmuted. Now it's muted. You can see the straight line. Now it's unmuted. It's very, very sensitive. You just barely touch it. And we are just barely touching it and it's muting. So we're going to go back. We're going to stop this and see what it sounds like. We're going to hit the record button and you can see that that's our original. At this point in time, we're not going to record too long. We're just going to record long enough for you guys to hear the quality of this mic. So we're starting a new recording here where you can hear us very well. And we're going to hit the mute. See, as soon as I hit that now, mute button, it mutes. So now it's muted. So sensitive, which is great. I mean, you don't have to worry about mashing a button for it to mute. Now it's unmuted. It's very, very sensitive. And we are just barely touching it, and it's muting. So we're going to go back. We're going to stop this and see what it sounds like. It sounds great, guys. I mean, the quality of this mic is high quality. It's, it's definitely up there. I highly recommend it. Let's get this hooked up to a Mac so you can see it that other way, as I promised. We kind of got a chord disaster going on right here. Whatever. We'll straighten this out later, wrap it around, make it look all pretty. But right now, this is not its permanent location. So we're okay with it. Okay, so the only bad part about this is that we have to use a dongle, which that's fine, whatever. But if these would have been USB-C to USB-C, we wouldn't be in this position. And all new computers are USB-C, not just Macs. To be perfectly clear, guys, I'm not knocking on Windows PCs. I use them for gaming. But for recording, studio quality stuff, video editing, it's all Mac all day. Okay, so here we are. We're going to get this set up on the Mac. Hopefully you guys can see the screen decently, at least enough to see what's actually happening. We're going to load OBS. I don't think I'm going to have any driver issues with this. I might have to update it, but I uh, shouldn't have any driver issues. So you can see I already have an audio device inside of here. I'm going to remove the video capture because I don't need it. I'm just going to go to the properties and make sure that it's on the 5 fine, which it is at this point in time. Now, the cool part about OBS is you can see your mic aux. You can see your audio input capture here. 
you don't want to get into the red. If you're into the red, that means that it's just too loud. So we're going to tone this down just a little bit. But we do have it there so we can start recording. It's making sure that I don't want to use a video source. So we're just going to record a little bit of audio here and see how it sounds. We are getting into the red a little bit, so I would make some micro adjustments here. But uh, overall, I think it's going to perform just fine. Max setup's pretty easy. You don't have to go through all the crap with your microphone. I can already tell that it's working. You don't really have to deal with too much there. So, so we're going to go ahead and play this back so you guys can see what it sounds like. Turn the volume up just like I did in the other one. Make sure that my sound is coming out of the right ports. And it is. So here we go. It's making sure that I don't want to use a video source. We're just going to record a little bit of audio here and see how it sounds. We are getting into the red a little bit, so I would make some micro adjustments here. But uh, overall, I think it's going to perform just fine. Max setup's pretty easy. You don't have to go through all the crap with your microphone. I can already tell that it's working. You don't really have to deal with too much there. So, Okay, so you can tell on the Mac, well, first of all, the speakers are a lot louder because Mac just kills it with speakers. But you can tell that there's that little bit of distortion at the end where you can hear it kind of sound like it's hollow. And that's going to come from the fact that it's just a little bit too high. The mic volume's a little too high. We're going to give it a fair chance. We're going to bring the mic volume down a little bit uh, more. And we're going to try it again and see what it sounds like. But so far, it still sounds really good. So let's start a new recording here. We don't need an, uh, an input. So we're going to start a new recording here. We're going to let you see what it sounds like. And we're still a little bit in the red. So let me move this down a little more. Okay, we're pretty good there. We're coming into the yellow. So... I kind of want to be in between the green and the yellow, and that's going to give me the best sound quality. So what you're hearing right now is probably going to be the best sound quality we're going to get out of this thing. And I am talking down into it. I'm not talking from the side. Okay, let's let you uh, hear what we just recorded again. And this is the new one here. I don't need an uh, input. So we're going to start a new recording here. We're going to let you see what it sounds like. And we're still a little bit in the red, so let me move this down a little more. Okay, we're pretty good there. We're coming into the yellow. So I kind of want to be in between the green and the yellow. And that's going to give me the best sound quality. So what you're hearing right now is probably going to be the best sound quality we're going to get out of this thing. And I am talking down into it. I'm not talking from the side. Still sounds a little bit like I'm underwater. I don't think the quality is bad. I think that what you guys are hearing there is perfectly normal uh, for a mic. It's a good quality mic. It's got some RGB. It's got some shock mount protection on here. So overall, what do I think? I think it's a good mic. All right, let me first start off by saying this is not a sponsored video. Fine did not send me this mic. They have in the past, but I haven't worked with them in a little while. I did have to take a sabbatical there for a little while. But we're going to go over a little bit of tech specs. This thing is uh, normally about $69. Right now it's on sale. It's got 29% off. If you guys want to get one, we're going to leave a link down below for you guys. And it's $49.99. Now, this is a Fifine USB dynamic microphone kit. It comes with the boom arm. The quick mute, of course, is already built in. It's got the RGB shock mount. Um, it's good for gaming, you know, things like that. I would, I would be using it for uh, podcasting or tutorial videos, but it works just as well for gaming. Uh, the plug -in, It's plug and play. You guys can see that. We didn't have to put any software into it for it to work. It just works. We didn't even have to download any kind of drivers. It has uh, eight colors, so the RGB will change into uh, eight different colors. It's got the rocket-shaped uh, PC gaming mic look to it. It's got the tight elastic bands on the top, which absorbs the bumps and the vibrations um, to reduce some kind of rumbles in your stream. It's uh, got that soundless quick mute, which we tested, and it, it does seem to work uh, pretty good, right? So... Um, the capsule features the noise reduction function, so it, uh, annoying rumbling sounds from nearby equipment like a fan can be absorbed. Less ambient noises can be heard. It's pretty convenient. I mean, it wasn't too hard to set up. You guys saw how long it took to set it up. It was, it was fairly quick. Overall, I think it's a good mic. I, I definitely would recommend it for anybody just starting out. It's definitely not going to be like a, a professional studio quality if you're using it for singing or something like that, but it's a pretty good mic, and it does a pretty good job. And for some reason, um, you know, they, they built in this really nice shock mount here to give you a little bit of extra. So that's cool. And uh, I can always appreciate good audio equipment, good video equipment, because I use them all the time. So if you guys like this video, make sure to mash that like button and subscribe to the channel. 
That helps you YouTube's algorithms get our videos out there to other people that like this type of stuff. And we're going to keep doing more. We are going to be doing some tutorial videos for Mac. It's been a hot subject, and I think a lot of people want to see them. So stay tuned to the channel for that. It will be in a separate playlist. We're still going to do the unboxings, but we're also going to be doing some tutorial videos for you guys. Might actually turn into a class. We're not sure. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.